York is quirky. York is innovative. And York is humble. I grew up in um, Jackson, New Jersey, home of Six Flags, great adventure. And coming from a family of six siblings, we were basically the Brady Bunch, except my brother Sean should have been a girl, and then it would have been perfect. It was very difficult for our family to go places. That many kids, it was hard to get those kind of arts experiences. I very much credit my parents for trying to take us to as many places as they could, but arts experiences were sort of fell at the bottom of the list. I played the musical instruments, so that was really kind of my love, and most of my art consumption was very personal. That was kind of my escape. Um, from a very crowded and noisy house. Once I started to look for a place to go to college, I really kind of didn't feel like I fit in New Jersey. I went one semester and I just didn't seem to find my people. And then I went with a friend for a visit on your college's campuses and I walked on and I knew that's my place. It's my people. And the easiest way for me to sort of get involved and really meet people was to start with the arts, to really kind of, kind of bond with the writers and the musicians and the goth kids, which is what I was. And just really kind of get that experience and very quickly led me to the arts community in York. I realized late in my last semester of York College that my degree in secondary education was coming to a close. I had finished my practicum, but I had a real heart-to-heart -heart with my uh, faculty and, and my professors and said, I don't know this is for me. So I worked with them and, and I um, and ended up switching to a degree in English, which I graduated with and, and felt better about. And so then I started to make my way in the world. Um, I moved back home briefly, but not only had I fallen in love with York, but I fell in love with a Yorker. And so we decided to move in together. I moved back to York. I was so happy to be back. And it really plugged me into um, the nonprofit world and also the arts world. And so working for Creative York as a volunteer led from me to then become their first director of marketing and sponsorship. Once the um, opportunity to run all of the special events of the city came up, I jumped at that. Once I had my two children, those special events became a little bit too much for me to handle, and so I sort of stepped back. I was working for a marketing firm from home, and then I got a call, and it was from the Cultural Alliance of York County. So what's amazing about artists are they make things out of nothing. So they start with an idea. They are the only ones who can create that idea because it's theirs. They make it a unique thing, and then they're the only ones who can move that thing forward. We can't outsource their jobs, and they also can do it anywhere. They work wherever they want to work. And so I think about a lot, how do we keep them working and living here? What is it about work that we can do that will make them feel valued, that will make them feel welcome? The legacy I'd like to leave is just the value and visibility of artists being as important to our community and its fabric as the value of sports stars, as the value of titans of business, because they're superheroes and I want them to be recognized as such. And sometimes I take somebody from outside to look at York and say, wow, look at what you have here. And I think that's the role of a lot of us who have moved here to come to York College and fall in love, is to show that reflective mirror back to people who are natives in New York and say, look at this amazing place. We want to live here, we choose to live here, and we want to uplift everyone who lives here.